Gather round, kiddies, and Mr. Campbell, your bearded, nerdy history guru, will tell you about the Great Toilet Paper Scare of 1973. That's right, the Great Toilet Paper Scare of 1973. This began with a Republican congressman from the state of Wisconsin named Harold Froelich, and in December of that year, Froelich had authored a paper arguing that the United States government could be facing a toilet paper shortage due to a decline in government contracts for the toilet paper used by troops and bureaucrats. Now, the 1970s were a period of great scarcity in the United States. You had the energy crisis, the oil embargo, stagnation, all these other problems. And in this general climate of scarcity, the media just ran with this story and, and blew it out of proportion. People started hoarding toilet paper, but it was really made worse when famous late night comedian Johnny Carson cracked a joke about a toilet paper shortage on The Tonight Show, which was broadcast to 20 million viewers. And that really just blew the lid off the whole thing. After Carson's comments, toilet paper started flying off the shelves. Stores could not keep it in stock. The price doubled. And for months, nary a ply of toilet paper could be found from sea to shining sea. There was even a black market for toilet paper that emerged where TP could be bought, sold, and traded like some sort of cryptocurrency. Now this eventually came to an end around February 1974 as people started to realize that there was no actual shortage, it was just a panic. And so things gradually began to return to normal. But the Great Toilet Paper Scare of 1973 serves as an excellent reminder that panic and hysteria can have very real world economic consequences. So that's it. That is the Great Toilet Paper Scare of 1973. I hope you enjoyed this episode of History in a Minute. If you did, please subscribe to the Homeschool Connections channel, watch all my other videos, and always remember, history is awesome.